Good morning, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith, and this is my new year, new morning routine. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video. And also, go ahead and leave me a comment with your go-to breakfast. I want to put together a breakfast recipes video soon. So as you all know, I keep talking about getting my life together, getting everything back together after Vlogmas, after my sleep schedule getting really off. You guys know that I was taking January to get my life together. Just, if you will, get your shit together. And as a part of trying to get my life together, I focused through January on slipping back into a good morning routine. I sleep with my hair up in a bun, but it falls out because I am a wild sleeper. So I'm just putting it back up out of the way. I still don't feel like I have my perfect morning routine figured out for right now, but here's the thing. Do we actually ever figure out the perfect morning routine. If you're like me, you've watched hundreds of morning routine videos. It is one of my favorite kinds of videos. They make me feel motivated to be productive in the morning and through the rest of the day. person can make a morning routine video every six months, every three months, even more often than that. Me, I'm, I'm one of those people. My last morning routine video was six months ago. A lot can change in six months. Our routines are always evolving as life changes. We try to maintain the perfect morning for that season of our life. Maybe a season of your life is just that, lining up with the natural seasons. Maybe a season is longer, years even. For me, it's definitely more of the first. My morning routine seems to change and evolve as often as the season changes. So many of these types of videos are made because I find them so entertaining and I enjoy making them myself. They give me ideas on what I can try for my own routine, but I also get caught in the trap of thinking I need so much more in my morning than I probably do. For example, I don't work out in the morning. I don't do yoga. I don't shower in the morning. I don't meditate. I don't journal. It's not that I don't do these things, I just don't do them in the morning. While the water heats up in the kettle, I put the clean dishes away so the dishwasher is empty and ready to be filled throughout the day. This just helps me keep up with dishes all day. with some YouTubers that their morning routine is three hours, four hours, five hours, half the day sometimes. And I'm not saying they shouldn't do that. 
if that's what works for them, great. I do think it could be a bit unrealistic for most people to fit all of the things into a morning routine. Even me, content creation is my job, just like a lot of these people. And I'm not even in school like some of them. But I only have two hours scheduled for my morning routine. And I want to spend them mindfully. I work out later in the day, I meditate later, I shower at night, and I try to leave time for yoga after work, but rarely do I get to it. Which is why I'm trying to only add three things to my to-do list every day. But that's a bit difficult. If y'all want to see how I plan my day, or vlog my work day, or daily routine, let me know in the comments. If I don't make breakfast early in the morning, even if I don't eat it then, I won't eat breakfast at all. I just won't take the time to make breakfast later on. I'll either have a smoothie or I'll have oatmeal. Sometimes I'll do like pancakes or something, which I thought about doing this morning, but I just wanted to keep it simple and keep it to my normal, usual morning for this video. So I make a big smoothie and lemon water. As you watch my morning routine, I just wanted to remind you that you don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. You don't have to fit every productive, healthy, mindful habit into your morning routine. In fact, trying to fit everything can be the reason your morning is less mindful. Rushing from one thing to the next is not how I want to spend my morning. So I don't. We know that a good morning routine stems from a good night routine, and that video will be coming out soon. My current night routine is still not quite as put together as my morning routine, and that's because there's another person there with me. In the morning, my partner and I split up and do our own thing, but in the evening, we are getting ready for bed together, so that routine isn't quite solidified, and I'm not quite ready to film it but that's what february is for me january was getting the morning routine together february is getting the night routine together While the coffee is brewing, I get changed for the day. Either a workout outfit so I don't have to change later, or a cute outfit for filming.
I don't always put my contacts on first thing in the morning, and I don't always do my makeup first thing in the morning. In fact, I'd say most days I don't wear makeup, and I don't put my contacts on until lunchtime because we work out right before lunch, and you know, oh, working out in glasses is difficult. I fall off my face and stuff. So, but today is a filming day, so I am going to do my makeup. Typically, after my morning routine on a normal work day, I will pour the coffee and then I will go sit at my desk and get to work. Um, but one day a week is a filming. So I spend an extra hour or so doing my makeup. But I feel like that's part of filming, so I don't necessarily consider doing my makeup on a filming day as like part of my morning routine. I more consider it hair and makeup for filming, so I will still do my whole morning routine and not worry about having to take the time to put my makeup and stuff on. I'll just do that later in the day. So it's about... 9 o'clock right now when I would usually be going to sit down at my desk and instead I'm in here ready to do my makeup. And then if it's a weekend day I don't really stick to the same morning routine so sometimes I need to do, sometimes we're going out and I need to do my makeup and sometimes we're staying in and I will have a chill lazy morning. Even on the weekends though I do tend to read in the morning. I used to not be able to, I used to just always fall asleep when I tried to read in the morning, but a couple things helped with that. Really interesting books, and realizing that I'm the type of person that needs nine hours of sleep. Not eight, not seven, nine. And some days I will read for longer if it's a really interesting part, or if I don't have a lot of work that day then I might read for an extra hour, extra half hour, just really depends on the day. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope this morning routine can inspire you and give you ideas, but also remind you to create your own mindful morning that doesn't have to look like anyone else's. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me so you don't miss the night routine coming up, the breakfast recipes. Got a lot of fun things planned for the next few months. Also, don't forget to leave a comment on this video telling me what you eat for breakfast on a normal day. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, y'all.